Hi Pisces, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Today we have a reading for you guys, Pisces, and I hope you guys are all well. And let's get into it, right? If you guys are enjoying these readings, please remember to type in Power and Light Tarot. So let's do this. And Pisces, somebody's kind of being taken advantage of in this reading. It kind of looks like that, right? Mm -hmm. There is a healing or a rest and rejuvenating uh, going on. Uh, and there is material harvest. So, you know, you look like you're doing well here financially, Pisces. You do. This is the nine of pentacles, uh, typically, where we see kind of the single lady or sometimes you just kind of a rich woman, right? But uh, we start with the ten of swords, though. Yeah, we do. And this is the ten of arrows. Let's see what they say here about that. Mm-hmm. And this is understanding, accumulation, and wisdom. Yeah, and you have trust your own understanding here, right? Which is really interesting. This is the Ten of Arrows. And we have, you know, uh, this is supposed to be like the Ten of Swords, but the hearts are at the end of the arrows. And this is perfect emotional wisdom gained through experience. And so is this. Trust your own understanding. So you're, you're pegging this, like, you know what somebody's doing, or you know exactly what you're doing, but this is all intuitive. And this makes, you know, perfect sense because you're the high priestess, right? And the ending of a difficult situation, it could, it could be that, right? Sharing knowledge with others. All right. So I feel like something is kind of ending here. And I feel like somebody here, and you're kind of healing from it, possibly, you could be reaping in financial rewards. And then we have this card, codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be obsessing over somebody else. And this codependency can be like, for some, it could be like acting one way that you know is kind of like not good for you, right? Like, you know, instead of kind of feeling empowered, maybe there's a little bit of codependent uh, energy here. Maybe somebody's a, somebody could be a sex addict here. It's possible, but I don't feel like this is so much maybe addictions. I feel like somebody's doing something in this reading and you're hip to it. You could have ended something with somebody and you kind of know you're trusting your intuition about it. I feel like somebody didn't tell you maybe why, maybe why here, but you could be wanting to end something as well. You could be wanting to end something. You could feel like maybe you're in a codependent situation. We also have boundaries. And this woman here is sitting here. She's unhappy, but she's got her little star on her head, like her third eye kind of. And she's meditating, right? Uh, but this talks about somebody's being taken advantage of. And they know it. Or, you know, maybe if you're taking advantage of somebody, they know it kind of, but somebody, I feel like this is you having a clear understanding of something that is going on here. Maybe you think somebody's taking advantage of your money. We have the home card. Somebody feels like home here. And it could also be there for some, this could be third party energy. It could, right? It definitely could. But for some people, somebody could be breaking the boundaries of their home life. Like, I'm not going to follow these rules anymore. Yeah. So let's get into the reading and see what we have for Pisces. Let's see what we have here. Mm -hmm. let's see what we have for Pisces, please. Let's see what we have. The star card, Pisces, it's reversed. Yeah, you're feeling uninspired about somebody or something, about this person, about the situation. Page of Pentacles is the challenge. You're either wanting to get out of a, of a situation and ignore these boundaries, or somebody's doing this. It's either one. We have the Page of Pentacles, and it could be either one because these are general readings, right? Depending on your situation, the four of pentacles. The, in this deck, this could be greed. Somebody could be addicted to money here as well. It's possible because we have addictions are affecting your romantic life. And then the material harvest is next to it. The emperor judgment. Okay. So there was already an ending here. 
or you want to take control of your life and end a situation. Let's see what else we have. There's something, I, there's two things going on in this reading. That's really what's going on here. There's something that is no longer inspirational or worth having any faith in. And there's something else that is. Seven of Cups. You could, you could be wanting to make a choice here. This could already be you making this choice. Somebody's making a choice here and they're like, I'm just going to make it. Like, I can't sit here and think about this any longer. And it is for some type of a new start or something they value. I feel like you might think that your person is taking advantage of you. The reading could go switched. But I feel like you might think that they're taking advantage of you, maybe of your money. You guys know who's uh, playing the part here, right? Four of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Eight of Cups. Sorry, you guys. You could be expecting this person to be kind of greedy and walk away from you. Or you could be expecting to hold on to somebody. You maybe want to hold on to somebody and abandon your person. Yeah, the reading's clear. It's just not who's, who's wearing the pants here, who's wearing, you know, who's... Uh, Who's playing which part? The moon and the emperor. I feel like you felt in the dark about maybe what to do about this in the past. I feel like you did. But I also feel like there's definitely an ending here because the emperor is standing here with the slain lamb in his hand. And he feels like there needs to be an ending. The sun and the nine of cups. This is clarity, in my opinion, that somebody's inviting somebody here. It could be a happy invitation, but I feel like you have clarity that you're either going to contact somebody or that you're going to invite them to see them, or you have an understanding your person's doing this. Wow. Judgment is showing up with the king of swords. This is coming soon. Somebody's making a decision for a rebirth here. They are with somebody. I feel like this reading is about you trusting your intuition. Uh, that's really what it's about. But it's about some type of breakup that you either want to break up with somebody and you want to go be with somebody else or your person's doing this. And the Eight of Swords is how you feel affected. See, this could be somebody like ending something with you. Temperance, possibly for a Sagittarian or your person is Sagittarius. But this is an ending and a healing both. And we have rest and rejuvenation, the four of swords here, which is a healing. And we have the ten of swords next to it, which is an ending. So yeah, this is clear. Ten of pentacles reversed. The tower... This tower, this is how you are affecting this other person or somebody. This tower talks about somebody rebuilding. So the dynamic here, once again, could be switched. You either want to rebuild with somebody or your person does. They're getting back into the tower to seek refuge. And we have the Ten of Pentacles reversed. Let's see what they have to say about that from this special deck. Let's see what they say. Disharmony, discord, strife, and family feuds. Mm -hmm. This is how you are affecting this person. You could be fighting with this person. Because they're either because you want to get back together with somebody or they do. And we have the Page of Cups. This is your hopes and fears. Let's see what this card. Queen of Wands. I feel like you're just hoping that your intuition is right here. 
Mm -hmm. Either that or you want to talk to this person here. Page of Cups. You could be, if you think that your person here is, you could be helping. If you are the one who wants to go be with somebody else and let this go, then you're hoping that this other person, that this will be a brand new start for you and that there's going to be kind of a new level of feeling romantically in your life. Like, I hope I'm kind of happy and this is going to be romantic or you're fearing this about your person. Seven of Pentacles in your outcome. Knight of Cups. This is determination. And an offer of love. You Pisces here look like, as I said, you're either going off to be with somebody that you really want or you're dealing with your person who has kind of done this or who is doing this. this it looks like it's happening now. It doesn't look like it's past. It doesn't look like that at all. In fact, you have the moon over here with the with the emperor, like kind of in the dark about ending something here. It could have ended for some, but this looks like it's in the works. But in the end, uh, Pisces, you know, these cards, trust your own understanding. This is telling you that you're right. You, you're, however you are seeing this situation or whatever you're doing is correct. So if you're the one going toward a new beginning, you're correct. If you're the one who knows your person is doing this, you're correct, right? So we're going to end this, you guys. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me here. If you enjoy my readings, please remember, uh, please remember to type in Power and Light Tarot. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe as well. Thank you so much, you guys.